1949, Kathipurthi, a tribal and an employee of the geological department of Tata Steel, while walking through the dense forests of Sukhinda Valley, stumbled upon some shiny pieces of rock. On seeing the metal-like shining stone, Katiputti felt that this might be of use in the company's steel-making process. With curiosity, he submitted the rock samples to the company, little realizing the fascinating fact that he had already unearthed one of the richest chrome ore reserves in the world. Amidst the lush green Mahagiri range in the south and the Doitari range in the north resides the chrome valley of Sukhinda. While India is having only about 12% of the global chrome ore reserves, 95% of this scarce mineral lies in the Sukhinda Valley, which was explored in detail by Tata Steel in the early 50s. The mining lease was granted by the then Maharaja of Sukhinda for a period of 20 years in 1952. In 1953, the government ratified the lease. Remote, devoid of skilled manpower in the area and lack of market for the friable variety of chrome ore, Tata Steel started mining in a small scale to supply refractory grade lumpy ore to our refractory plant at Jibshetpur and Belpahar during December 1960. After the establishment of a number of charged chrome plants in the country, the demand for friable chrome ore went up towards the beginning of the 80s. Accordingly, the mine first went for semi-mechanization and subsequently developed as a fully mechanized mine in the year 1984. Today, the Sukhinda Chromite Mines is spread over an area of 406 hectares and is the largest and deepest open-cast chromite mine in Asia. Through geotechnical scientific studies, the mine has achieved the rare benchmark of designing the mine with 35 degree overall pit slope in the soft friable formations. As a part of the journey towards excellence, the mine has adopted benchmark initiatives like controlled blasting with usage of site-mixed emulsion, online slope stability monitoring radars, GPS-based vehicle tracking systems, pump automation systems, and RFID-based diesel monitoring systems. The mine has a state-of-the-art chrome ore beneficiation facility with a capacity of 6.5 lakh TPA and is fully capable of meeting all specifications for the metallurgical and refractory segments. Presently, most of the chrome concentrate produced at the plant is exported to Japan and China. The Sukhinda Chromite Mine is the only Indian producer of hexavalent chrome-free chrome concentrate made through a patented herbal treatment process that adds green credits to the organization's environmental initiatives. Above all, the mine provides a safe workplace for its workers and has won several national awards for safe operating practices. Personal commitments from every employee through personal safety action plan and personal carbon footprint reduction plan has become a way of life. Improvement and innovation is the way of life for Team Sukhinda, which gets reflected in its benchmark performance in small group activities, kaizens, suggestions, mass, leading to the highest employee engagement scores for Team Sukhinda by Gallup in Tata Steel. Sukhinda Chromite Mine is the first mine in Asia to be awarded the ISO 9002 
the first unit in Tata Steel to be certified for OSAS 18001 and one of the first mines in the world to be certified under SA8000. The integrated systems, process and team efforts supported by positive results has helped FAMD win the coveted JRD QV award. In line with Tata Steel's current initiative, Karvijay Harshikhar and FAMD's Uran, the Sukhinder Chromite Mines, since its inception, have been striving towards achieving higher peaks of excellence. We are going to increase our ferrochrome capacity from currently about to, uh, 150,000 tons to almost 500,000 tons in the next two to three years. And to support this growth, it is extremely important that we introduce new ways of mining in Sukinda and which is underground. And that is going to be one of the largest project which uh, FAMD has ever taken. Uh, it is not only important for our growth, but it is also important from the mineral conservation and from extraction of mineral from the Mother Earth. And that's a very, very big project. And we are going to have a, a very automated and trackless mining, which would be extremely safe and efficient. As a responsible corporate citizen, we must drive inclusive growth. And by inclusive growth, what I mean is that we must take care of the society around us. While the CSR work which is being done along with TSRDS is quite noteworthy, but this is one responsibility which each one of us have and we should continue to strive to ensure that we are much above the others in this field. Towards social affirmative services, Tata Steel Rural Development Society, TSRTS, Sukinda Wing works in and around 24 sensitive villages within a radius of 10 kilometers of the mine. TSRDS along with support from line managers, has been providing quality support like health services, clean drinking water and health awareness camps. Education and empowerment of SHGs with local women, capacity building, youth education, training of farmers, creating model villages and helping the local administration create a holistic society around the mine. Sukhinda Chromite Mines, General Secretary Nate, we can say that for 50 years of history, Tata Steel Management and Sukhinda Chromite Mines Workers Union, Tata Steel is the glorious tradition, the value base, इसको आगे रख करके प्रोडक्शन, प्रोडक्टिविटी, प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी, कम्युनिटी डेवलपमेंट एवं ऑल राउंड वेलफेयर ऑफ़ दी वर्कर्स। The Sukinda Chromite Mines of Tata Steel has become an indispensable part of the region, touching lives. The Sukinda Chromite Mines, 50 glorious years of achievement. <laughs>